This week, I'm taking you with me to the Founders Ministries Conference in Fort Myers, Florida, and we're going to talk finding a church while traveling. We are John and Michelle, and we believe memories are more valuable than material possessions. That's why we waved goodbye to 2,400 square feet of house and said hello to our 35-foot fifth wheel. Arcadia, Florida was so conveniently located for us. It was essentially an hour to an hour and a half away from anything we wanted to do. Uh, go see the murals in Lake Placid, go to the beach in Siesta Key. We went to Sanibel Island, but it was also roughly an hour away from Grace Baptist Church. And it was about an hour away from the Founders Ministries Conference. That was the entire reason that we were in southwestern Florida in January and February to attend the Founders Ministries Conference. And man, it was amazing. So for this video, I want to take a second, talk a little bit about the conference, what it is, why we were there, and walk you through my process of finding a church to meet with while we're out on the road. The Founders Ministries Conference is an annual event held in the early part of the year as a way for Christians to come together and learn under some fantastic Bible teachers to gather together in worship over the course of several days. There's also opportunities to connect with each other, to network, to just fellowship, to break bread, and to meet folks who are coming in from literally all over the United States, and in some cases, other parts of the world. So the Founders Ministries Conference was a wonderful experience for me, and it's something that we as a family want to put on our travel calendar every year. We want to build it in to our RV adventures so that we're back in the area each winter for the conference. I've assembled a kind of a toolkit and I'll be recording my screen on the laptop because all of this information with links is in a blog post on our website at calledtobefreerv.com. Simply go to the section on the website that says notes from the road. And if you scroll down, there's an article that I posted called four ways to find a church while traveling. And within that, you'll see links. And these links are going to take you to different church finders. And these church finders uh, are tools that I have put together uh, from a variety of different sources that help me in finding a, a church to plug into wherever we go. Now, our family is a member of a church within the Southern Baptist Convention. So the first tool that I always go to is the SBC's very own church finder itself. 
churches.sbc.net and when you click on that it takes you to the SBC church directory there's a map and there's also the ability to look for churches by specific name by location you can sort out a radius and you can find your results located below that map when you click on something let's see we were just in South Dakota so we'll try South Dakota and we were visiting Mitchell so we've got a radius of 25 miles we'll set that in motion and here it's kind of a Google map scenario but it's it's zoomed in on Mitchell and then you scroll down and there just happens to be one SBC church in the area Cornerstone Baptist so those results are right there and you can click on more information it'll tell you who the pastor is it'll tell you contact information where the church is at and how you can find out more information if they have a website it usually has a link and uh, that's a really effective tool for us founders has their own church search and it's at founders.org the uh, ministry website and i've got that link included in my article as well when you click on it it'll take you to the founders page and these are founders alliance churches these are churches who uh, are plugged into founders ministries offer support in in whatever ways um, and it has a drop down with the state so what we'll do is we'll sort down to we'll stick to south dakota and uh, click on sd and it pulls up the results there's one in the state of south dakota one church that's a founders alliance church ramsey baptist church in montrose this has become kind of my go-to the founders ministries church search founders is um, southern baptist as well i have come to um, trust those men um, and it's not always you're not always going to find a slam dunk but that's not the important thing the important thing is to gather with the saints so for us um, if we can find uh, a church that holds to similar ideals in, in terms of inerrancy infallibility sufficiency of scripture it kind of gives you an idea of what to expect when you walk in to the church to begin with third is the uh, CREC churches now, these are kind of few and far between, but this is the communion of Reformed Evangelical churches. These might be uh, Baptist, these might be uh, Presbyterian, uh, but they're going to be Reformed churches, and uh, they're going to be um, probably, most likely, uh, smaller churches. Um, they, they break down um, into different regions, and they actually have uh, churches outside of the United States and Canada as well. There are countries represented here. So um, there are a, a various selection of drop-down menus that you can choose from. Finally, the uh, last one was actually given to us uh, in a group, and this is a really cool church finder, churchandfamilylife.com. So if you click on that one and you head to this website, Church and Family Life, the FIC Network, there's a, a Find a Church page. And if you click on Start Your Search, it will take you to the Church Finder. It has a very similar map to uh, that Google map that the uh, Southern Baptist Convention uses. And we can just, we can, we can filter churches out by a denomination we can look at their confession we can look at uh, various forms of worship but the important thing to note with this church finder is these are going to be family inclusive churches that means kids are uh, not only welcomed but encouraged and in some in, in some cases um, required they they don't offer uh, a child care option everybody's going to be in together and uh, that's a very attractive feature 
the church that we attended in San Antonio when we were staying in New Braunfels is actually on that family inclusive church finder. And it was also a church that was recommended to us through a connection that we made on social media. And that's maybe uh, one of the best tools that we may not utilize is as we make friendships in the RV community, ask the folks that you are connected to, hey, is there a church that you've visited? Is there some place you would recommend? We made a friend on social media who lived uh, lives in the San Antonio area. And I just reached out I said, hey, uh, you would probably have a line on a great place for us to worship while we're in town. Do you have any recommendations? And uh, we were given a couple different options. We found one of them in one of those church search websites that I just showed you. And we were able to go there for three out of the four weeks that we were in the area. It was delightful. And it was really cool to be able to uh, meet people and, and make connections and uh, most importantly to fellowship with the saints in the local body of Christ. We knew though going to Arcadia and staying there so that we could attend the Founders Ministries Conference that we were going to worship at Grace Baptist Church. Now that's the church that is affiliated with Founders Ministries through the connection of pastors Tom Askell and Jared Longshore and they also provided most if not all of the volunteers for the event. We had such an amazing experience being with those people, being a part of that church for that time. We worshiped with Grace Baptist Church for two months while we were in Arcadia, and we attended their church picnic. People were so kind and so welcoming to us, and we really loved that aspect of the trip over and above of much of the other things that we got to do and see while we were there. It was really a beautiful picture of uh, the, the blessing that comes with being able to use these tools to find places to worship and to meet people who are passionate about the Lord Jesus Christ. We're at Sanibel Island and we're having a beach day because we want to give mom the most extensive transition to the weather she expects in Chicago tomorrow, which is like six to 10 inches of snow. She's going on a uh, job assignment tomorrow and uh, we're gonna send her off in style with a beach day. So again, thank you for hanging out with me and, and walking through this process of finding a church online. Until next time, we'll see you on our journey.